Hey guys, what's up? Murder of Birds here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Ruby reaction. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the reaction that I did for the initial chapter in the intro. For this video, we're going to be getting into chapter 2, Dread in the Air for Ruby Volume 5. Another 20 plus minute episode, I believe 21 minutes, about 20 or so if you take out the intro and the outros. But um, nonetheless, I don't think we're going to be getting 20 plus minute episodes every week, uh, you know, during Volume 5. I think Rooster Teeth is just starting off the premiere, like starting off Season 5 with a bang and giving us like a ton of stuff to look forward to probably condense it's probably going to be just as condensed as the first episode just because we got so much exposition and so much extra stuff added you know for subplots and everything like that in the first chapter so chapter two is probably going to be just the same probably exploring stuff that we haven't seen thus far so uh really quick i just want to mention i do know of two things that we'll most likely be seeing uh in the chapter number one salem because she is on the thumbnail uh so it's probably going to show us cinder and salem like we got in the trailer and then i did see on twitter the other day uh rooster teeth posted a gif of weiss in the airship and i do know that the airship is going to be under attack from like those wasp like grim i'm actually thinking those wasp grim are the uh, rapier wasps so if you guys remember in volume one when Cardin was like bullying around jean he was like oh i'm gonna need you to go buy get a bunch of rapier wasp for me and make sure they have really big stingers so i'm wondering if those were grim that that he was talking about you know back in volume one or if these are just different wasp like grim but that'd be a pretty cool callback to volume one also um i realized something i realized the trailer that we got a week before the first chapter premiere majority of the dialogue and the visuals that we got were from the first episode so like most of the conversation that was done from crow and and ruby and stuff like that in that trailer was from and i think salem's dialogue that was in the trailer is actually going to be in this episode when she's talking about you know uh the white fang was promised the destruction of haven that's the scene where we saw cinder and salem in you know in cinder's i'm sorry in salem's like uh like courtroom or whatever you want to call it like the room with the table so i think Whatever we didn't get in the trailer that wasn't in the first episode, we're going to get the rest of that in this one. So I think we're going to see the Grim attack Weiss's airship, like the cargo ship that Weiss is in. I think we're going to see Salem. We'll probably see Raven a little bit, Adam, um, and basically everything that we didn't see in the first chapter from the trailer itself. But uh, yeah, that's what, those are just my general thoughts. The first chapter too kind of opened the gates for us in terms of giving us a lot of subplots. So you have Team Ranger and Crow and now Ospin and Oscar. Um, you know, their goal and focus is to reach Raven, get the Spring Maiden. Subsequently, on top of that, you have Yang that's, you know, unbeknownst to her, she's probably going to run into them because she's going to look for Raven, who has the Spring Maiden. So that's going to be a little funny dynamic to see all of them, like, be back together. And it'd be great to see Ruby and Yang link back up. Uh, you have Weiss, obviously, making her way to Mistral. Uh, I don't think Blake is leaving Menagerie anytime soon, especially since she has, like, this whole political address to make regarding uh, the White Fang's plans and whatnot. And with this chapter being so long, I I think we're going to get just as much condensed information like we did in the first chapter so that way we can set all of these plot points on their course for the rest of the volume but uh th those are just my general thoughts i hope you guys enjoy leave me your thoughts what do you guys think about the reaction everything else in between uh, i really do appreciate you guys' continued support and uh it's great to be back of course but uh without further ado let us begin all right guys we're going to be starting uh ruby volume 5 chapter 2 dread in the air i skipped the intro so it's about 19 minutes if you consider skipping also the outro like for the credits and stuff like that but nonetheless, we're going to be getting started, so be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments. And without further ado, we're going to begin in 3, 2, 1, now. Leo! What? Are we ready? Oh, he's here! Finally! Oh, oh dude, look at them dancer legs. <laughs> he, he reminds me of Luigi. <laughs> oh, sorry, Waluigi. Oh, no. Oh, that mustache, though. Jesus Christ, that's... <gasps> oh! Is he gonna give him the relic? Oh, he's gonna show him where it is. <gasps> the Seer Grim! Oh, we were right! Okay, hold on really quick. Pause. So, I had a Discord discussion uh, after the first chapter came out, and we saw the intro, and it showed, like, the tentacle tendrils that were showing off, you know, when Arthur Watts was looking over like, Leo Lionheart, and then it also showed the tendrils, like, choking Leo in the trailer. I thought, like, a lot of people thought that that could have been, like, considered Watts' weapon, but... 
I was under the suspicion that it wasn't a Seagram because the original look of the Seagram they didn't have like those tips, like the like the bone tips at the end of their of the like of their tentacles. So like it, it was either it was a toss up between either Arthur Watts's weapon or if it was a Seagram. So we actually have the confirmation here. I'm really excited about that because we were like talking about this for like a good 20 minutes if it was a Grim or if it was Arthur. All right, three, two, one, now. Oh my gosh, so these act as, like, Salem's access of, access of communication. He's gonna tell him. Grace, are you there? That's her crystal ball. Oh, it is! Hello, Leonardo. Do you have something to report? Oh, shit, dude. Course, that is crazy! I would not waste your time if not. I'm still just so fascinated by this creature. <laughs> uh, Cinder, dear, are, are we coming through? Can you see us clearly? <laughs> well, as clearly as you can. Oh my Shut god! Up. Hey, she can talk! Oh, goody. You've recovered. Your report. Oh my god, what she can it? talk now! I've... I've found the Spring Maiden. <sighs> oh, no. So? Well done, Arthur. But at what cost, dude? Had I known how useful you'd be in expediting this process, I would have sent you long, long ago. <laughs> oh my god. As much as I'd love to take credit, ma'am, I can't say that either of us have to thank for this development. Really? I guess you could say a little birdie told us. Crow. Explain. Literally. An actual birdie. You oh, he's still alive, Lord Tyrion! Godwin arrived at Haven Academy earlier today. Tyrion told he her that she killed him. He taken residence with his sister's tribe. Is the girl with him? Yep. Yes, Miss Rose was in attendance. Oh my and god. You know the tribe's location? This looks so yes, beautiful. But you have to hurry. Crow is already at odds with my oh! Leonardo. How can Do you remember the first time we met? Oh I remember. I remember your fear. But since that day, you've been extraordinarily brave. I won't forget all that you've done for me. What are you doing? You no! Don't forget everything I can do to you. Jesus Christ! She's so she can control that Grim too. Cinder, you and your team will meet with Dr. Watts and together convince Raven oh Broadway that the survival of her people depends on her cooperation. Once you have Spring under control, escort her to the relic and contact Hazel. Oh my the god! Ev has promised the destruction of Haven, and they'll have it once, once we, we have, have what, what we need. what we need, yeah. Understood. Jesus. Jesus. Tyrion's in need of a new tale. Oh! What happened to his old one? What? You guess. He's Mr. Fix It! The silver eyed girl. Yep. <laughs> Two down. It will be done. Good. Jesus Christ. Ruby's taken out both of two out half of Seems Salem's crew. The students aren't pushovers. Yeah. Oh you my god, we're getting so mind. much of the enemies. I don't understand. Working with bandits? Keeping Ruby alive? What's the point? We're strong enough to take what we want by force. Yeah. So what's Never the- Never underestimate the usefulness of others. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> take Leonardo. He was one of Ozpin's most trusted, and yet now- You bend him to your will. <laughs> you will have the power I promised you when the time is right. But remember, you gotta be careful, it though. comes with a cost. If Ruby Rose has learned to harness her gift, then you must take care to protect yours. Hmm. There's only so Ruby much I can do to aid you. Ruby has... Uh, the good thing is, though, for them at least, Ruby hasn't... hasn't mastered her eyes yet. Oh my god, this place and looks Cinder, beautiful, especially the lighting. Go, inform Tyrion. He failed. That I wish to have a word with him. <laughs> oh my god! I literally said that. I was like, she's gonna find out. I said that in like volume four. I was like, she's gonna find out that Crow is alive and basically Tyrion failed his objective. Wow, I was not expecting to get all of that. Like, that was a lot of information.
Especially from the enemy faction, since we haven't seen them in so long. Oh, the floating islands! Wow! The, I think that's, um, gravity dust that's holding them up. Oh, uh, freaking Ice Queen. No, we're good. <laughs> Passing by some of Lake Matsu's floating islands. Lake Matsu? The gravity dust that forms in these things has given us a little turbulence. Oh, Nothing this I looks can't so handle, cool! But the islands sometimes hide some nasty grim. Like the wasps. I'm oh! Just betting on our Be careful! What the fuck? Then preoccupied. To your right, dude! Jeez! I've got to be kidding me. I wonder if that's the. I think that's the airship? Oh my god, we lost Percy! Percy. Oh shit. Here it is. Those are the wasps! Oh! oh. We're hooked! We're hooked! Oh! Everyone, abandon ship! Holy shit, dude. These Grim are terrifying. Giant bugs on top of that. That's like the worst. That's like my worst fears imagined. Lance. Freaking Lancers. <laughs> Lancers! Right, Lance- Okay, so they're not rapier wasps. Lancer Grim. Oh, Interesting. What we should have done in the first place. <laughs> we should have helped them. Dust, right? Officially, no. Actually, <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> then when I tell you, open the rear door. Oh, we got her back! Nice. <gasps> His entire shipment's gonna go flying out the freaking cargo, though. Oh my god, this is a great fight. Oh, this is a great, like, scene right here. Yep, that's from the trailer. Careful, 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 careful! Oh, you're hooked! Oh! It Ready. She's gonna summon- Oh! <laughs> oh, careful! <laughs> oh, that, that's a new... No, no, no. I think we've seen that one, actually. Fire. Oh, my God. God bless the Maya engine, dude. We'd never get shit like this in previous volumes. <laughs> Hold on. Wow, this is so cool. Come on, Weiss. You got this. You got this. Lasers. Yes. Oh. I saw this in uh, in the in the promotional ad. <laughs> wow, you have certainly upgraded. What was that? We're hooked. Oh shit! And you know what happens when you get hooked? Why summon? You gotta summon, girl. You gotta do something. They're about to freaking overrun you. I got an idea. Hold on. Do a barrel roll. Literally. <laughs> Oh? Uh, what exactly are you doing? It looks like he's about to plummet right into the, uh... Oh! Oh! Good shit, dude! Can you find a pair of islands we can fit between? Kid, you are reading my mind. <laughs> Good shit. Wow, this is super dynamic. Nice. Oh, what the heck? How did that happen? Oh. Do you just awaken, like, the queen of all Lancers? I think she just did. Because it looked like it, like, woke up from something. And I don't know what was the whole point of that. It just made it yeah, seem like that one was more significant. Going, we are in the clear. <laughs> that smile, though. <sighs> don't count. Don't count. Oh yeah, that is definitely Queen Lancer. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nope. That's not stopping it. Jeez. Is that music? Oh, the Path of Isolation OST. Do something. No, 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 that's not, that's not Path of Isolation, that's, um... Hold on. This life is mine. 
Oh, she's gonna use all of her dust. <laughs> Explosions, perhaps? Yep, there you go. Oh! Dude, that's so sick! She like... And none of it worked. I can see the shoreline. Hurry the hell up, dude! We're not gonna make it! Weiss, you have to summon. Shame that it took so long to rescue me. From the guilt you used to tie me to your family tracks. You dream and failed your life. And oh, the son of The patriarchal prison won't hold me. <laughs> oh! That thing looks so badass! Go, 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 go! Oh, it's going by itself! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Oh, what happened? Oh my god! Omni, dude, that's literally Omni Slash! <laughs> Oh my god, that was incredible. Dude, you need to get out of that. Oh, thank god, thank god, thank god for glyphs, dude! Oh, that's so freaking smart! Cushion the impact, but hopefully Weiss is okay. Adam. The White Fang too. What the? Going to We're literally this. getting everything else in the trailer. So I want you to listen when I tell you that the White Fang will not attack Haven Academy. Uh -oh. I, Leader Khan, I am begging That's you. That's not good. You should beg for forgiveness. <gasps> oh, she and looks so cool. <gasps> the assault you led on Beacon was not the great victory <clears throat> you clearly think it was, and you should be grateful your punishment wasn't more severe. Dude, you are a symbol for many in our organization. That's that not good. Make you infallible. Hazel's gonna come through then. I was then. merely trying to follow your example, High Leader. And what example might that be? Strength. I like his outfit. His outfit looks badass. Strength and unwavering conviction. The humans have seen that strength now. <sighs> not really. He was one of the first to suggest violence where violence was <clears throat> necessary. Hmm. He spread complacency and acceptance of our place in the world. I will not allow humanity to push us down without pushing them back. But the destruction of the Huntsman Academies crosses a line. Yeah. At least she's the rational. Of the CCT has brought global communication to a crawl, and the White Fang is more of a target now than ever before. Yeah, and it's all your fault, you dude. You have justified humanity's campaign against us. And for what? Empty promises from a group of humans? Humans we still know nothing about, and come and go as they please. That is true, dude. These are not examples of uh, strength, Adam. They are examples of your talents being diminished by short-sightedness. <sighs> She's really- If you want to know more about the humans- Give them a chance. Then why not talk to one of them yourself? Hazel. That's why they brought Hazel! Hazel. Mm, took you long enough. <gasps> What is this? <laughs> Apologies. I don't aim to cause any trouble. He's my most anticipated Are villain. To this location? You should hear what he has to say. This is grounds for execution. Ma'am. She's like, yeah. Please, <laughs> nobody needs to die today. Really? I'm just asking for a moment of your time. Hear him out. The longer you stay here, the less of a chance you have of leaving alive. I don't know about that. It... I'll take those chances, <laughs> if you don't mind. Oh my god! Hazel! He's definitely a force to be reckoned with. You don't like me. You have no reason to like me. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to like me to get the results you want. I'm starting to doubt either of you fully comprehend what it is that I want. <laughs> Pretty, I don't even know what you want. To fear the Faunus, 
to know that we demand respect. I do not want to start a war with the humans that we cannot win. That's where you're wrong. Hmm. Because of Salem. I hope we get, I, we need more information here. We can win a war against the humans. Not only because we have the support of Hazel's master, but because the Faunus are the dominant species of this planet. We're better than humans. Oh my God. We have everything humans have and more. Humans shouldn't just fear the Faunus. Don't get closer, dude, they please. They serve the Faunus. I've had enough of this conversation for tonight. It's kind of like the ass God, backwards. It's like them away. the humans are enslaving the Faunus. Now you want the Faunus to enslave the- I said take them away. Oh. I will admit, Sienna, you were right about my popularity. Are you fucking serious? They already see me as the true high leader. And many here in Mistral feel the same. You've got to be kidding! They really double-crossed her. What are you doing? What's right for the fun? No! From Adam, forward, dude! I will be the one to lead the White Fang. You fucked up, bro. What the fuck, man? If you think I'll just step aside and follow beneath you, don't you're wrong. Oh! I know. You. Thank you, Adam. Sienna. You were there when our people needed you, but they need me now. I'm oh sorry, my you God! To the end. Dude, what? Give our former leader a proper burial. Hazel, all who didn't are here want tonight you to will claim that Sienna was murdered by a human huntsman. Sienna Khan will become a martyr for our cause. Her final act as high leader. I don't. Oh my fucking god. Hazel's not happy about that either. Did that shit really just happen? When were you planning on telling me about that? This was my business, not yours. It's our business now, and I don't appreciate you withholding things like that. Your master was concerned with Sienna's willingness to cooperate. Now she doesn't have to be. That's uh, that's gonna Nobody that's so short-sighted, dude. And he just said no one needs to die here. I disagree. What the fuck happened to you, dude? What the fuck, dude? That just like oh, like I I had hope for Adam, but now <gasps> Raven. <gasps> this is from the trailer. Help. Raven. Please. Oh my god. What do you think? I think <gasps> we just hit the jackpot. Oh my god! Oh, oh, Weiss is knocked out. Great. Now Weiss is up for fucking ransom. Wow, dude. Oh my goodness. Where the fuck do I begin? Seer Grim. Yeah, so I guess this is a revamped model of it because it didn't have tentacles. It didn't have like the the tendrils last time. Remain the Adam, dude. Time skip. Adam, what the fuck, bro? You are so far gone. I can't believe that happened. I was not expecting that. Oh my god, dude. Was not expecting that at all. <laughs> Adam is just becoming less and less and less redeemable every time you fucking see him. Like, I know other stuff happened in the episode, but that was is the lasting effect of the chapter. The fact that I literally, like, I understand. It's like, okay, yeah, she's not gonna agree with you, but 
You guys didn't even try to like see. Oh my god, he was just like, "Yep, yeah, okay, well if you're not gonna cooperate, then I'm, then I'm just gonna kill you." And I I felt like it would have come to that, but Adam just like Hazel didn't even know. Like Hazel doesn't seem like a villain. He just seems like someone who's going along for a greater cause, and he didn't want bloodshed either. And I I just really don't like Adam now. Like I understand like there's that quality of him that i want to understand what was the breaking point what was the tonal shift for him to turn into someone that blake saw as a partner as a mentor as a companion to where now he seems like a psychopath he seems like a i, I and sienna like i was so excited to see sienna con too i think that's what like i think that's like the biggest thing for me is like i love seeing new characters and we we got nothing of her she's the leader up until this point and now it's gonna be more radical more extreme with adam under uh, at the helm we got the seer grim too which act as salem's crystal ball which is what miles mentioned that last year like that you know every witch needs their crystal ball essentially and that's a pretty cool form of communication too like she speak like and obviously last year it, it wasn't as clear but like clearly with maya there they're able to like push the boundaries even further like actually warping the grim to look like to be able to see you know everybody as they're talking to them which is great leo lionheart dude i can understand where he's coming from it's like dude if i don't comply i'm dead and i feel like he knows like the people that he's turning his back against can deal with the situation but it's like everyone has their tendencies you know ironwood for example like he was super paranoid about the threat at beacon that he brought his whole army there backlashed on him now the whole thing with the dust embargo and you know the closing of borders is just like extremes to like like he has good intentions but those extremes are ultimately going to come back to bite him based on the fear and the paranoia of everything that he's going through um why scene was incredible it was, it was super dynamic just because like you're flying around and shit and you have like all of this terrain to work with so that fight was probably the most dynamic that i've seen aside from i think the 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 the, the second fight scene that i would correlate with that one is the fight scene on the highway with the mech and like like sun and, and yang and, and neptune in volume two just because there's a lot of things going on even though it wasn't the center focus of the fight there's just like a lot of energy and a lot of dynamics going on there we got to see her summon we got some awesome music complimenting it which was great she obviously crash lands i don't know if the I, I don't know number one i wonder how she like unless she like crawled out of the ship it seemed like she like just landed outside of the ship i'm, I'm assuming the uh the pilot is dead and then boom raven branwin shows up of all people it's like okay we hit the jackpot we have a huntress for ransom which I'm wondering if that's going to trigger her father to do anything, like, as a father. Like, hey, your daughter was captured by bandits. I don't know if he's going to see that as, well, she deserves it. She shouldn't have left home. Or, like, if he's really just going to put everything aside and be like, that's my, that's my, that's my daughter. You know what I mean? So that's, I don't know if he's going to comply with that either. Because, again, that's just another, like, that's just another PR nightmare for him to have to go through as a businessman. Because at the end of the day, I've never seen any like aspect of fatherly nature come from you know someone like Jacques so that's gonna be interesting so as far as we know right now everyone is converging on Raven so it seems like Weiss, Yang, and uh, Ruby have a poten have potential to meet up with each other once they reach the bandit camp Cinder and Watts are also gonna be there and they're gonna have like coercion be like oh the fate of her people depends on their cooperation so it's like uh well we have the spring maiden so how bad can that be oh my god oh my god this was a great chapter but <laughs> I just wasn't expecting that ending I wasn't expecting Adam to just go off the fucking deep deepest of ends for, for 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 his cause and it's clear that it's the most radical and the most extreme of the faunus representation out of everything but oh my god i definitely need to let this episode settle but let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section uh let me know your thoughts of the the episode my reactions anything that i had to mention everything else in between i really hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video take care